Unusual animal behavior before earthquakes has been reported for hundreds of years. Zookeepers have noticed monkeys and chimps act strangely just before quakes. They stay low to the ground and will not enter their shelters. Many household dogs have also seen to know that a tremor is coming. They often bark for no reason or wander nervously around a room. On November 27, 1974, horses near Hollister, California became nervous and skittish. The next day, a moderate quake struck the area. A unique experiment is testing the idea that animals can predict earthquakes. The subjects are common cockroaches. A sensitive monitor continually records their level of activity, looking for sudden changes. It seems almost funny that a nervous cockroach may herald a major catastrophe, but it could turn out that the Earth's oldest living inhabitant could tell us something about our planet. At the University of California, scientists create their own earthquakes. Scale models of buildings shake under the impact of an earthquake simulator machine. Hydraulic arms slam a 45-ton concrete block in two directions at once, duplicating the ground motion of the most severe quakes. Information gained from such tests may lead to new building standards and possibly save countless lives. In 1982, a rare and perhaps ominous event will take place in our solar system. For the first time in nearly 200 years, all nine planets will form a straight line on one side of the sun. Two British astronomers believe that this unusual alignment will cause an epidemic of giant earthquakes. Their theory states that the combined gravitational fields of the planets will create an enormous increase in the sun's magnetic activity. Huge storms of sunspots and solar flares will explode into space. Radiation from the turbulent surface of the sun will severely affect the Earth's atmosphere. Phenomena like the northern lights will be greatly intensified. Prevailing patterns of world weather will be radically altered. Changes in high altitude winds will slow the rotation of the Earth. Predictably, the sudden strain will cause swarms of earthquakes along the world's active faults. If this theory holds up, the strained fault line near San Francisco would be highly vulnerable. Ten miles south of San Francisco, hundreds of houses stand on unstable ground directly above the San Andreas Fault. In the last several years, the backyards of numerous homes have eroded away. They've dropped into the fault. A large tremor on this area would have a devastating effect. In San Francisco, the prospect of a major earthquake is frightening and grim. Every morning, as thousands of commuters swell its population, San Francisco becomes a setting for potential disaster. That a great quake will jolt this city is, to scientists, inevitable. Many seismologists believe it is already overdue. Several detailed studies of the city have been made. They project what would happen if a tremor the size of the 1906 quake occurred again. It is a bleak scenario. Suddenly, the earth begins to tremble and sway. In the crowded financial district, high-rise buildings shiver and sway like blades of grass. Inside, people are flung across rooms. Fires break out, elevators jam, walls crack and collapse. Plate glass windows pop out of their frames. 
large chunks of broken glass sail through the city's streets. Most of this area stands on unstable landfill. As the earth continues to shake, much of the soil turns to liquid. The street level drops instantly. Earthquake-proof skyscrapers fall into the void. Along Chinatown's famed Grant Street, the shaking is severe. Built almost entirely of unreinforced brick, it is especially susceptible to tremors. Virtually all of Chinatown collapses in on itself. It becomes a mass graveyard. Loose bricks and balconies are the first to go. Throughout the city, parapets, ornamental sculpture, and facades smash down on the people below. Everywhere, there are exploding fires from ruptured gas mains. on the freeways are tossed about like little toys. Sections of asphalt break away in huge chunks. The elevated highways slither, then fall. The cars below are crushed. The stench of raw sewage mixes with smoke from hundreds of houses that burn uncontrolled. The approaches to the Golden Gate Bridge have collapsed. The ground beneath them has liquefied and run off. The bridge itself whips back and forth like a giant snake. Cars are hurled into the water below. The human toll is enormous. At least 10,000 are dead. 300,000 are injured. Nearly everyone is homeless. This is the projection for a disaster that probably will occur. We just don't know when. Perhaps one day we will predict and control our planet's violent quakes. Until then, we are well advised to look for warnings in any form and heed them if there's time. For over four billion years, earthquakes have shaken and reshaped the Earth's surface. They are a violent expression of our planet's continuing evolution. In California, Along the San Andreas Fault, the frequency of earthquakes is high. Yet an active fault line cuts through New York City at 125th Street between the Hudson and East Rivers. The regions around Boston and Charleston, South Carolina have as high a seismic risk as Los Angeles or San Francisco. In fact, the U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey has determined that one-third of our nation's population lives in areas of high earthquake probability. Science is challenging the idea that earthquakes are unpredictable. Yet we are still far from truly understanding the powerful forces that are working deep within our planet. <laughs>